Hey everyone, this is Junior Stardust, and welcome back to the Smart Stars YouTube channel, home of the band players. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about this amazing YouTuber named Colbert Awesome. Now, what do I feel bad about him, you guys may be wondering? Well, a few weeks ago, he made a video called Entertainment Sucks Nowadays. And in his video, he said that he lost hope for entertainment, and it made me feel bad about it. Look, I know how you feel about this, but that's just the way life is nowadays. Thanks to the people who are scriptwriters, producers, and the CEOs who run a movie studio, parent company, or a channel network. And again, I know this happened weeks ago, but I just want to get this off my head. If you don't know who Cobert Awesome is, he's a black YouTuber who loves talking about video games, fun memories, movies, TV shows, and the good old days on why TV was so awesome back in the past. If you want to go subscribe to Colbert, his profile picture is Mario holding a bag and a screwdriver, as you can see here. Now, for those of you who have subscribed to Colbert's channel back in the late 2010s or sometime during or after the pandemic, you guys have already seen that he deleted one of his old videos that a lot of his viewers liked, which are his earlier videos after his start of his channel celebrities his movie reviews from 2017 to 2018 like the sam raimi toby mcguire spider-man trilogy that we grew up watching from our childhoods and the pixar movies that came out back when disney didn't own the studio yet his tv show reviews episode reviews rants on terrible th things going on and unnecessary tv show reboots the channels that used to be awesome but continuously suck to this day all-time favorite memory stuff, schedule videos, and anything else that I miss. In my head, I was like, you should have just keep it for memories. But nope, it's all gone now. And we know why, because like I said earlier, uh, Cobra lost hope for the entertainment industry nowadays and is not an entertainment person anymore. But he did say that he's more into anime, video games, and other stuff. Also, did it another video talking about why he had to delete most of his old past videos. You know, for me, as an adult in my mid-20s, um, I am more into watching daytime talk shows, crime shows, sitcom shows, sports, and the news, but I do go back to watch movies whenever I feel like it, like the old ones that I have not seen in a long time. And of course, the entertainment industry started becoming so much different for over the past few years, like back in 2012 and 2019. But entertainment from today is a bit of fun as adults, like going to Dave's and Buster's to play any sorts of games there are, a golf park, and watching football on TV. I know entertainment is not the same anymore now that we're grown-ups and in another decade, but it has to be a lot different. Exiting the past and entering the future isn't that scary, in my opinion, when it comes to a lot of changes going on. In my DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K discs don't deserve to become discontinued video, I did say that we are in the future where we always have to move on from everything that we grew up using and doing. A lot of things have been changing over the years and can't last longer. Yeah, back when we were kids growing up in the 2000s, we thought everything was going to last forever, especially thinking to ourselves that we thought we were going to stay as kids forever. Kind of like the kids from the long-running popular adult cartoons like South Park, King of the Hill, and The Simpsons, where years keep going, keep celebrating the same holidays, and the kids are still in the same age and grade level. Back before the 2010s came by, we found out that things can't last forever. We see all of our favorite stores going out of business, our elementary schools becoming so much different. Ever since we started middle school or almost high school, a lot of fast food restaurants like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Del Taco, Wendy's, Popeye's, El Pollo Loco, KFC, Burger King, Arby's, and Domino's getting remodeled. New logos of stores, restaurants, brands, channels, and companies replacing the old logos that we grew up seeing. Old items that a lot of stores don't sell anymore, like blank VHS tapes, VCRs, and small TVs from the 1990s. Yeah, no joke. Our neighborhood's changing a lot, and channels airing new forgettable shows replacing the good shows that ended 
a long time ago, especially showing people their new promos and bumpers. I feel bad about Colbert losing interest on entertainment, but at least he would give it a chance. But if he doesn't, then he's moved on from it. Life has to be like this, and in the words of the Wanzler from The Lorax, which that movie from 2012 became a meme on TikTok, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is ever gonna get better. It's not. So yeah, that's right, nothing is ever gonna get better. And nothing is ever gonna go back to the way it used to be, but we will always remember about what back then's entertainment used to look like. Yeah, and we will always remember it when we keep moving on from everything. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today. So what are your favorite now deleted videos that you remember from Covert Awesome's channel? Comment down below. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to the Smart Stars YouTube channel if you want to. My smart member friend Socio Campana keeps posting a lot of um, music album videos, which nobody cares about it, but they only care about the videos that I make and that's it. Hit the bell notification to get notified whenever new videos get uploaded right away. And I will see you all in my next video.